everyone! Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Brandon. And my name is Heidi, and we're here with another video for you guys. We are doing a pin tag today, and this pin tag is called the Walt Disney World Summer Trip Fun Pin Tag, and it was created by Robin over at Oh Hello Robin. And we were tagged by the Leffersons, Garrett and Alyssa, so thank you so much for thinking of us and tagging us through this tag. We were yes. so excited to get to it, and we are going to leave Garrett and Alyssa and Robin's videos linked down below, so definitely go check them out. Yes, and this is not your ordinary pin tag. This is very special because along the way of our Walt Disney World trip here, we are going to be picking up some special guest travelers. And because we had so many people that we wanted to bring on this vacation, we had to bend the rules a little bit. But that's okay. You'll see what we mean as we go along. So number one, sunny skies. Share a pin filled with sunshine. So we obviously had to go with this pin. We actually just recently got it yeah. and we got it because our channel name is It's Always Sunny, but it's a Mickey head and it's a little sun. So And it's really cute. glittery too, which it I didn't is. really know. All right, we're going to Magic Kingdom first and our first friend has to travel way across the pond to get here. So Dee, what's our perfect Magic Kingdom day? Well, hello Magic Times. I'm Dee from All That Pink Disney Magic X. And my amazing Canadian mooses, Brandon and Heidi, kindly asked me to pick out the perfect Magic Kingdom day for the three of us to do. And I have loved hypothetically doing this because in the future, they know for a fact that we are definitely going to Magic Kingdom and we will definitely be having the best day ever. So to start off our Magic Kingdom day, we are going to head over to the super colourful, super joyful Splash Mountain, which is so fun, starting the day off with a bang, or a splash, and it's going to be so perfect for my sunny Brandon and Heidi. Next, we are going to go to the Tangled area, which is so aesthetically pleasing and so beautiful. And we're going to have an Instagram-worthy photo session there. And the reason why I picked it is because my girl loves Tangled. Then it's time for a snack. We are going to go to the Cheshire Cat Cafe, mostly because I love Cheshire Cat. And we're going to have the Cheshire Cat Tail, which is so good. So that's going to be super yummy and super fun. And then we're going to meet all the characters. We're going to watch the parades. We're going to watch all the shows. We're going to live our best life. And to end the perfect Magic Kingdom day, we're going to watch the Happily Ever After fireworks show. We're going to be ugly crying. I mean ugly crying, like full on sobbing. And it's going to be so magical. And we're going to be hugging, crying, like I said, just having the best night ever. And that would be our perfect Magic Kingdom day. Branton and Heidi, thank you so much for asking me to pick up this day for us. I love you both so much. Bye! Dee, that really was the best day ever. I cannot wait for our Instagram photo shoot at the Tangled Bathrooms. And you already know I can't wait to be ugly crying to happily ever after because it's gonna happen. What a perfect day. So, number three is character meet. Show a pin of your favorite Disney character. So, my favorite Disney character is Elsa, but my favorite Disney character to meet at the parks is... Rapunzel, of course. She's just so fun and bubbly and has so much energy. She's even better when you meet her with Flynn Rider, so I definitely would choose this character to be. Amazing. And mine, again, you can't always meet him, but had to pick him. He's my favorite Disney character, the genie. And we actually did get to meet him at yep. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. So we kind of took this prompt where we're going to be meeting some characters, and these are for sure the two that we would have to meet at Disney World. Now it's time to go pick up Brittany and Liz over at Walt Life Salt Life to do some pin trading and to meet some Disney characters. What are you guys doing here? We're not we're even ready, ready yet. <clears throat> oh, wait, wait, wait. It's a good thing there's Disney magic and Disney editing. <sighs> You're right. Uh, so much better. So much better. Sorry you had to see that. Yeah. That was kind of crazy. Anyways, hi, I'm Brittany. I'm Liz. And we are so excited to go pin trading yeah, and go yeah. to Disney World with Brandon and Heidi. Mm -hmm. But you know what would be better than pin trading? Well, also just as fun as pin trading? What? Meeting some awesome characters. That's true! Who would you want to meet the most? Hmm. Well, my favorite character that I'd want to meet is Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. I love meeting Winnie the Pooh, so every time I have to go meet the little cuddly bear himself, he is so cute. So, who would you want to go see? I want to meet the one and only Sorcerer Mickey. <laughs> see, funny story is that however many times we've been to Hollywood Studios, we've never got to meet him. True. So I Definitely want to meet my favorite character, Sorcerer Well, Mickey. I can't wait to go. Well, I am super excited to go on this trip. We, did we pack everything? We got Let's the see. sunscreen, mm -hmm. water, yep. trail mix. Yeah. 
poutine because you know Canadian Canadian. Yeah, I just put that in the cold earlier. Really. All right, so cool. we're good. Well, we're good. All right, I'm so excited. Let's go. let's go. We are so sorry that we caught you at a bad time, but Liz, don't worry. We are for sure gonna meet Sorcerer Mickey. And thank you so much for packing the poutine. We absolutely love that. We need that in our lives. Yes, always. we do. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to go to our favorite park with some of our favorite people. So Haley and Tommy, what are we doing today at Hollywood Studios? Hey Brandon and Heidi, thanks for having us on today. We are really excited to plan a whole day at Disney's Hollywood Studios with you. Yeah, all of our favorite park. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Haley. And I'm Tommy. And we're Magically Mickey and more. So like we said, we actually planned a whole day, a ride, some food, and some entertainment. Day full of fun. Absolutely. So we thought that we would start our day at Hollywood Studios off with breakfast in Toy Story Land at Woody's Lunchbox, and we were going to have the breakfast bowl. So good, yeah. Yeah, so... It's got uh, tater tots, you got some eggs in there. Yep. So a nice, nutritious breakfast to start our day off. It's the most important meal of the day, that's what they say. And then after that... We're going to make our way over to Galaxy's Edge and ride Rise of the Resistance. We haven't ridden it, you haven't ridden it, so I think it'd be a, a great time to all ride together for the first time. Absolutely. And we've heard so many good things about yeah, it. Yeah, only good things. After that, if we've worked up an appetite from that awesome ride, we are going to stay in Galaxy's Edge and we are going to take you, Brandon and Heidi, for your very first Ronto wrap at Ronto Roast. We have to do it. Yeah, we've been singing its praises for too long to uh, not treat you guys to one ourselves. Absolutely. And then to end the day, we're going to grab some snacks, maybe a frozen lemonade, and head over to Fantasmic and watch the show there. So we cannot wait to make all of these things actually come true sometime in Disney with you guys. Thank you so much for having us on. Thanks. Bye. That day sounds incredible. Yeah. I'm all about going to Woody's Lunchbox. It is like my favorite place. Yes, and then our first time on Rise with you guys would be incredible. Can't wait to do it. And that Ronto wrap, though, you guys have talked about it. For so long we need it in our lives that day is definitely happening in the near future oh yeah number five movie magic show a pin that represents a disney film so we love movies but we have to go with this one this is from the incredibles and it's from the studio store and it has a little envelope there that shows that the incredibles won the best animated feature for 2004 so that's a really cool pin but andrew and jess over at magic in michigan what would you guys pick for a pin that represents a disney movie my favorite thing about rivers is you can't step in the same river twice the water's always changing always flowing just around the river bend ah got my shoe all wet Go make a pin video. Hey everyone, I'm Andrew. I'm Jessica. And we're the Magic in Michigan channel, tagged by It's Always Sunny to participate in this fun little pin video. I know, thanks guys, we love it. All right, so what do we have? Today we're talking about movie magic. Mm. Um, share a pin that represents a Disney film. All right, so we're Disney fans. We like a lot of Disney films, but we just got this one and it seems so special. And I think after you were prancing around in the woods, we gotta share this one. Okay. So we're going Pocahontas. This pin here is a recent acquisition. This is part of the Disney Legacy Collection. It's a limited release. And this is for Pocahontas and the 25 year anniversary. I love this pin. It's got Miko and Flit, who are just like the stars of the show, right? I mean, next to Pocahontas, of course. And then look at the glitter. I love this pin. And Pocahontas was released on June 23rd, 1995. So 25 years, just over. Congratulations. All right, All right. so Pocahontas, that's our choice. Back to you, Brandon and Heidi. Thank you. Bye. Wow, Andrew, gotta love that prancing and singing around in the woods. Perfect. And that pin you showed off, I absolutely love it. I'm actually starting a Pocahontas collection, so I need that one for my collection. Yes, and just with those facts, we love to see it. Okay, I'm getting a little hungry. What about you? Yeah, me too. Caitlin, what place are we going for some character dining? Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin from the YouTube channel Magically Caitlin, and the sweet, lovely, amazing Brandon and Heidi asked me to film this little clip for their um, YouTube video today, and I'm so, so excited for it because they asked me to decide where we are going to go and have some character dining. And now it didn't say on it that it could only be one character dining, so I decided to pick three um, because there's just so many that I know that we would all enjoy and love to go to. And by all, I mean Brandon, Heidi, me, myself, and my husband Austin. The four of us, we would go on a double date and we are going to all the best character dining in Walt Disney World. So. First place we're gonna hit up is because I know my girl Heidi, 
will love this spot and it's one of my favorites is I'm gonna butcher the name just so we know it is Trattoria Al Forno so it is the character dining for breakfast specifically and it's called the Bon Voyage breakfast and the characters you get to meet here are Ariel Eric but the main reason we're going is for Rapunzel and Flynn Rider. So me and Heidi are going to meet our bestie, uh, Miss Rapunzel, hang out with Flynn. It's going to be the best ever. The boys can tang along, they'll have fun, but this one is definitely for me and Heidi. And for lunch, we are going to go to the buffet over in Magic Kingdom at Crystal Palace, where we are going to have lunch with the Winnie the Pooh and friends gang um, and I know that Brandon and Heidi have been obsessed with Winnie the Pooh recently so that is why I picked this one and Eeyore is Austin's favorite character so everybody gets a fun loving lunch with the Crystal Palace crew and then for dinner we are going to head over to Animal Kingdom which is my favorite park and we are going to hang out with the gang so we're gonna go to Tusker House and we are going to meet Mickey and Donald and Goofy and Daisy I don't know why I hesitated there <laughs> We're gonna meet the gang in their safari outfits and have a buffet style dinner. You have to see the original gang while you're at Disney. So that would be our dinner. Those are going to be our three character dining spots when we go on our Walt Disney World trip. Let's go guys, let's book the flight. Toronto to MCO, let's go. <laughs> that sounds absolutely incredible. I'm so excited for that breakfast with Rapunzel and Flynn. Yes, and lunch with the 100 Acre Wood gang. We can't wait to eat at Crystal Palace. So number seven, since we're still a bit hungry, is snack time. Show a pin of your favorite Disney snack. So we had to go with my personal favorite <laughs> snack, but Brandon does love it too. It's Dole Whip. I so do love a Dole Whip. look at this delicious looking Dole Whip pin. Mm. I wish I had one of those right now. I know, so refreshing on this point in our trip, we would need to get one for sure. Now we're headed to Animal Kingdom. Brian Lee, what are we doing? Hey, Brandon and Heidi, it's Brian Lee with the Bry Rock 7.5. I am so excited to be going to Disney's Animal Kingdom with you. You know, when I was a cast member at Disney, I spent a lot of time at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So I am so excited to take you around to all of my favorite haunts. And the first thing that we're going to do is go over to Pandora World of Avatar and we're going to Pongu Pongu for a frozen night blossom. It's going to be just quick enough that we can head on over to Africa for Kilimanjaro Safari and there all of the animals are going to be so active because it's still early in the morning. And I mean, you know, we are at Disney's Animal Kingdom, so we should focus on animal-related things. So I think the next thing that we should do is go into Dino Land. And let's go to Theater in the Wild because I might have VIP access to Finding Nemo the Musical. Hey, hey, hey. But let's not get caught up in that and let's just keep swimming because we got more stuff to do such as lunch. Are you hungry? I'm kind of getting a bit rumbly in the tumbly. Let's go to Nomad Lounge. Yum. Every time I'm there, I try something new. And trust me, the desserts are where it's at. I think what would be best after we eat at Nomad Lounge is to go onto the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. I love gorillas. Silverbacks are awesome. And honestly, Animal Kingdom's got a great collection of gorillas. And then after that trail, we could just spend more time on Maharaja Jungle Track because tigers. I mean, you know, yeah, we could go to Pandora and all that kind of stuff, but let's face it, Brandon, you're too tall. You can't fit on Flight of Passage, so I don't want to put you through that. But we will go back to Pandora and see it at nighttime and hang out, and we're gonna have Mickey ice cream bars, and we're just gonna relax until it is time to head on over to the River of Lights Lagoon and we can watch the beautiful water pageant, We Are One. I mean, really, isn't that a great day? Thank you so much for taking me with you. I can't wait to have fun. See you in a few. That sounds awesome. I love the safari and seeing all the animals at Animal Kingdom. Yes, and some VIP access for that musical. Can't wait. And thank you for knowing I'm too tall, but we can still go there at night to see Pandora because it is so beautiful. So since we just saw some animals, number nine is Wildside. Share a pin of your favorite Disney animal. 
So I had to show off this awesome pin of the whole Frozen game because my favorite Disney animal is Sven. He's so, so cute and I absolutely love this pin. He is so cute. And my favorite Disney animal is my girl, Judy Hopps from Zootopia. If you've been around here, you know I love Zootopia and there is my girl, Judy. But Taylor and JP over at Pumpkin Pass, what do you guys think for favorite Disney animal? Hello, Brandon and Heidi and all the Disney peeps and peepettes. Or, or. I hate peeps. What? The Easter candy? Oh, yeah. Those, those are garbage. But anyway, so since Brandon and Heidi, y'all are like our, well, I call you the giant rays of sunshine because you're giants, like, in a good way. <laughs> and you're like, it's always sunny. So giant rays of sunshine. We should call all their little fans beans. Little Disney Rays of Sunshine. That's what Beans. <laughs> beans. <laughs> we are so honored that Brandon and Heidi, y'all asked us to be a part of your video. It means so much to us. Like I almost cried. I freaked out and you know got super excited. We were both supposed to pick our favorite Disney animal and show what we picked. So my favorite pins that I have, it's not necessarily my favorite Disney animal, but my favorite setup on this board and is also the most... <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not the question. I just felt like that Chip and Dale really needed to be with <laughs> Belle on this one. Stop. You didn't choose an animal pen. I did. You chose a cluster on your board. <laughs> And that's the whole reason why I'm holding this board up is because you could not properly choose no, a pen. No, because we can't get this thing to zoom. <laughs> I just feel like they belong together, so I put as much of a Dale little collection on this corner, but I just felt like Belle belonged there. So that's my favorite animal pins that we have. I chose this Chip and Dale pin because Chip and Dale are my two favorite chipmunks at Disney. They're the only Timon at Disney. So, regardless, this is my pin of choice. And uh, that'll put a pin in it. But our real favorite Disney animal is little buggies. Well, thanks for tuning in with us and seeing some of our pins. Thank you again, Brandon and Heidi. This was pintastic. For, for asking us to be a part of your video. It's an incredible honor and... I'm so excited to see everybody else's. This has been Pumpkin Pass. Brandon and Heidi, back to you. That's what we should have done. Bye guys. Back to Brandon and Heidi. Love your guys' idea about what we can call our subscribers. It's super awesome. Yes, and we love Chip and Dale. I love how you put my girl Bella there. I don't know why, but I absolutely <laughs> love it. Super cute. So now it's time to go to Epcot and travel the world. So Jess and Nico, what are we doing today at Epcot? Hi everyone. Bye. We're the Princess and the Sith, and Brenda and Heidi asked us to talk about our perfect day at Epcot. So Jess, how does it go? We're first going to start at Garden Grill for a delicious breakfast, and then we're going to hop on Living with the Land right after to see where all the food is grown. And then we go on Soarin' because we want some fun after that. And then we head straight to the World Showcase at 11 o'clock, and we start on the Canada side. Now we start over there because we want to go to France first. And really, our whole thing about Epcot is that everything revolves about around France and how often we can get back there. <laughs> so, we go to France, I get a baguette with a nice cup of coffee. And then he walks around with the baguette, he takes pictures with the characters with the baguette. Mm -hmm. The baguette kind of stays around, it sticks around the entire time. And then we go back to England, maybe get some fish and chips there, take some pictures of Alice, maybe pictures of Alice with the baguette, you know, you never know. Then we head back to France so I could get some Le Artisan de Glace. I love the ice cream there. Any flavor, recommend it all. Head over to Morocco for some cool Insta pics. Japan is awesome because of the Mitsukoshi department store. Then we go to the American Pavilion and we go to my favorite place to take a nap in the whole entire park, the American Experience. Go in there, nice and air conditioned. You have to recover from all the food you've eaten, all the drinks you've had. And where do we go to next, Jess? Germany, so I can watch the trains and go to Caramel Kucha. Everything mm. is good there as well, even if you guys just want to go in there to smell it. Oh my goodness, so amazing. Then we go to Italy and China and we make our way to Norway to go on one of my favorite rides, Frozen Ever After. So magical. And then where are we headed for dinner before Mexico? 
So before we go to Mexico, we go back to France. <laughs> and where are we going to in France, Jess? Chef's de France, our so favorite good. restaurant in Epcot. Oh my goodness, the steak there. More baguettes. They serve hot baguettes. I told you, baguettes are going to be a theme. I'm a carbitarian, what can I say? And then we go back to Mexico. We go to the Grand Fiesta Tour. And we get some margaritas because those are amazing. Ooh, and explore the market. So now it's fireworks time. Our best fireworks spot is in the World Showcase Promenade. So that is our perfect Epcot day, mostly revolving around France, mostly eating. So thank you guys so much for listening to our best Epcot day. And thank you so much, Brendan and Heidi, for having us on here. We are so happy to share this with you guys. Have a magical day. May the force be with you. Bye. Bye. Wow, that's a really busy day at Epcot and we absolutely love it. I'm so excited to try all the food around the World Showcase. Yes, and that baguette though, can't wait to try it. Mm -hmm. And Frozen Ever After, I'm so excited for that. Yes, we are. <laughs> Number 11 is World Traveler. Share your favorite international or country pin. So we obviously had to show off this awesome yes. pin. My friend, or our friend, <laughs> Becca gave it to us. And it's a Disneyland Paris pin. And look how stunning it is, guys. It's huge and I absolutely love it. Amazing. So now that we hit up all the parks, we have to go shopping. Megan and Juliet, what places are we hitting up and what are we getting? Hey Brandon and Heidi. Thanks so much for inviting us to go shopping with you today. We are so excited to go shopping at Disney World. And hello to everyone watching. I'm Megan. I'm Juliet. And we're, we're the Pumpkin, Pumpkin Queens. Queens. And we are excited to hit up Disney World today. To start off our shopping spree, we are going to go to one of my favorite places, Juliet's mm -hmm. favorite places, and I know Brandon loves his sweets too, is Goofy's Candy Company over at Disney Springs so we can load up on lots of unhealthy sugar to keep us going throughout our shopping spree today. What do you like to get at Goofy's Candy Company? The Make Your Own Rice Krispie Treats. The Make Your Own Rice Krispie Treats, definitely. Dip it in chocolate, put whatever toppings on, it's gonna be delicious. After we eat some good Rice Krispie Treats, we are going to head on over to the Christmas shop at Disney Springs because we collect Disney ornaments. Brandon and Heidi, I know you guys are wanting to grow your collection, so we thought that would be the perfect stop. What kind of ornament do you wanna get? Jasmine ornament. Jasmine, and I'm sure Heidi want to might want to pick up some frozen two ornaments for her tree. After we've hit up Disney Springs, we're gonna head on over to Epcot and go to two pavilions that we know you guys both love. The first one being Norway to see. Elsa! Elsa, and look at all the gift shops there. They're gonna have tons of frozen two merch and frozen one merch and awesome pins. And we might even hit up frozen ever after just as a little bonus. Yeah. And our last stop will be over at the Morocco pavilion where we can see. Yeah. Jasmine, maybe the genie for Brandon, and get some really cool Aladdin merch at their gift shops and some cool pins that maybe you won't find in the other pavilions. <laughs> so we, we thank you guys again for inviting us to go shopping with you. We hope that you had a great day and we had so much fun doing this. Bye. Bye. That sounds incredible. Can't wait to get a Rice Krispie treat. And you know I'm going to be hunting for those Frozen 2 ornaments. And definitely, we definitely have to meet Elsa and go frozen ever after. Yes, and then I can't wait to go to Morocco to meet Jasmine with you, Juliet, and hopefully find some special pins. And our final prompt, number 13, share your favorite Walt Disney World vacation pin. So we had to show this one because this one holds a special place in our hearts. It is from Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party of 2019. This is our first time going to Disney together and our first time going to the Christmas party. So super special pin from our trip together. So now that this trip is over, we are going to tag three channels to do this pin tag. Yes, the first one is Andy and Joe over at Park Pioneer. The second one is Cassidy over at Magical Martini. And the third one, Cameron and Daniel over at Day Tripping Disney. All of those channels are so awesome, so go check them out. We'll leave them linked down below. Thank you so much again to Garen and Alyssa for tagging us to do this pin tag. We had so much fun with it. Yes, and thank you to all of our friends who are special guests on this trip. We will leave all of their links in the description down below. Let us know in the comments what your favorite part of our trip was here today. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you're new for more Disney content, pins, hauls, and unboxings. And remember, it's always sunny.